hello everyone welcome back to my channel happy post review friday i <laughs> i feel like i've been using overusing the phrase like first this of the year first that of the year but welcome to our first post review of 2024 it's the only time you're gonna have to hear me say that this year so um, if you are new to my channel, I do have a series where every Friday, most Fridays, not every Friday, but most Fridays of the year, I do a post review on a kit that I recently finished. Today we're going to be talking about my first finish for 2024, which I'm so excited to talk to you all about. Um, but in my post reviews, I like to talk about things that I enjoyed about the kit, maybe some improvements that I think... Um, could have been done or could be made to the kit. Um, obviously, nobody takes that into consideration because I'm just a small channel here saying my thoughts, but I do like to tell you the good, the iffy, the bad sometimes if there is any, and um, then I like to go through any changes that I made to the canvas and I like to share my accessories that I used. So today we are talking about Snow Queen. This is a kit from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Patrick Lamentage. I still don't know how to say his last name. And it is a 50, wait a second, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm like on autopilot the old way. And I actually updated, I updated my book. <laughs> so I don't have to read from the canvas. I can read from my book. So this is Snow Queen by Patrick Lamontage. It's a round drill, 55.8 by 73.7 centimeter. There are 28 colors with two ABs and one fairy dust drill. Something that I decided to keep track of this year is when I start and finish a kit, which is not something that I usually track because... Time doesn't really matter to me in terms of diamond painting. Like I don't time my diamond painting sessions, but I thought it would be fun to kind of see exactly how long it takes me to finish kits because it does get a little backed up throughout the year where I'm a couple weeks behind on post reviews and it's not necessarily like a finish that I just completed. Um, so this one I did start on January 1st and I finished it on January 7th. Um, this is obviously my first kit of 2024, and it is my 134th finish of all time. So I I even cut out the sticker and I wrote down my thoughts. So let's get into it. Um, if you watched my unboxing for this kit, you knew that I, or you know, that I was counting down the days until I could work on this piece. I just thought that this artwork was gorgeous. Now I did work on a piece from this artist last year, which ended up in my top five finishes. I'm not going to say that this is going to be a top five because it is my first one of the year, but um, this is absolutely gorgeous. And who knows, in 12 months when I'm doing my best of video, it could this could very well be a part of it because I think it turned out absolutely gorgeous. The detail that comes out on this one, I will go ahead and pop up a full length image for you guys here so you can see it from a distance. I think that the, the detail that Diamond Art Club was able to get is just beautiful. I really, really enjoyed working on this painting. Um, I will say that I didn't love the poured glue. I thought that it could have been I thought there could have been more of it. I think sometimes Diamond Art Club is a little stingy on the poured glue because if you were around with them like a while back, their poured glue used to be like so plush and like squishy that when you laid a drill down, you could just feel the poured glue. Now, obviously this is still poured glue and it is there because drills are sticking to it, but I do feel like that they have thinned out their coating of poured glue. I don't really know. I don't have an inside to Diamond Art Club. Um, but I just feel like recently, probably within the last year, I think some of my post reviews with them have been, I could have used more glue because I definitely feel like um, the drills weren't like squishing into it as much as I prefer, just because I feel like that means that it's a really solid hold. And I did have some issues with like some sliding, but that's not like a deal. I didn't, it's not necessarily a deal breaker. I didn't hate the canvas just because of that. And it wasn't necessarily like all across the canvas. Some of those areas that were like sliding around was just isolated to a few small spots. So honestly, that is the only 
thing about this kit that maybe I didn't love that I feel like there could be improvement. Um, I was fully prepared for this kit to be so full of confetti. Now, there is confetti. <laughs> there is absolutely confetti in this kit. However, there are only 28 colors. So while there is confetti, I would more so classify it as like a color blocking confetti because there was only 28 colors. Had there been 60 colors and this much detail, there definitely would have been a lot of confetti. This was more manageable for me. I don't love confetti, but I don't hate confetti because sometimes if you have a painting that's all color blocking, I think it can get a little boring. Trust me, I love color blocking paintings. Every once in a while, I need to work one of those into my schedule just for like the ease of it. But I do like there to be some confetti. And this really was what I would consider kind of like my perfect mix uh, because there was some line work, but you could also still get in there with a multi-placer. Like a six placer worked really well for me. I'm pretty sure that's what I used for this one. Um, and that worked quite well. Um, and then I already told you guys how much I just love the image. I think, I just think it's so beautiful. I really do. I love these wintry um, animal type kits in January. I worked on Snow Leopard, I think it was called. Um, which also made my top five finishes <laughs> of 2023. I worked on that at the same time last year and I just, I think it's just so seasonal and so fun to work on. So let's go ahead and move on to the drills because that's really all I have to talk about in terms of like kit quality, I guess you could say. Um, all in all, I really did enjoy working on this piece. So let's talk about the drills and then I will talk to you guys about changes that I made to the canvas. So here are our 28 colors. You can see that I have plenty of everything. These two containers right here were just little placeholders so that my drills didn't slide all around. So those are supposed to be empty. Um, I had plenty of every color. I will say that compared to some of my other Diamond Art Club kits, I didn't feel like we got as many extra drill drills, which I'm fine with. Like I had plenty to complete the canvas, um, but I thought that was just interesting because I think Diamond Art Club says that you get 20% more um, and clearly I had more than enough. But there have been some kits that I've worked on in the past where I feel like my leftovers are just more than what I have here, but that's okay. <laughs> um, and then... The drill quality itself was quite good. Now this is a round kit and while I've had some problems with round kits in the past, it's not generally the rounds that I struggle with, it's more so the square drills. But for this kit size, which I said was a 55 by 73 roughly, this is all the trash I had for this kit. That is amazing. <laughs> I know that I've worked on some rounds from Diamond Art Club in the past that I've had a lot more trash than this and I'm quite happy. I mean, that's like barely any trash for this size kit. So that is awesome. Really happy to see that. Um, otherwise, I was I was happy with the drill quality. I think it was it was nice to work on. There was a lot of static, but at this point, it just is what it is with the static, I think. Um, did I kit this up with you guys? I don't think I kitted this one up with you all. Um, I think I, did I get this one up during my little break? I can't remember. I did not get this one up with you guys, but uh, you can see by the dryer sheets and all of my containers that there was quite a bit of static, but it is what it is at this point, like I said. So let's talk about the changes that I made. Actually, before I do that, let me talk to you about the special drills that came in the kit. So we had two ABs, which was this uh, like icy blue, not icy. I don't know, medium blue, 138 AB, and then we had a tiny, tiny bit of 141 AB. And then we also had a fairy, dr fairy dust, fairy dust. <laughs> I'm a little out of practice with my post reviews, guys. Um, we had this fairy dust drill in 341, which is a really pretty light blue with kind of like a, it kind of comes across as like a pinky uh, overspray. So in terms of those ABs, the fairy dust drill is everywhere. Like there is so much. I think I had two bags of that when I kitted this one up. 
there is so much of the fairy dust. So we have some, they're very faint. I'll say I apologize for my nails, but they're very hard to pick up on cam on camera when they're on the canvas, but it's all throughout this painting. So there was a lot of that one. And then for the white AB, it's kind of just sporadic, sprinkled throughout some spots. You can kind of see some here. There's a couple here. And then you also see it in the chin, highlighting around the nose. And I think there was one in each of the eyes. And then the blue AB is just in the eye. I'm going to say that I feel like this kit didn't have enough special drills for me. <laughs> I love ABs. I love fairy dust drills, but I felt like, I felt like another one of these like lighter blues in the background, or maybe there could have been a little bit more white charted in this kit with a fairy dust. I think that would have been beautiful. Um, and I feel like the white AB just kind of disappears into the kit, if I'm being honest with you. So I do think that we could have had a little bit more from Diamond Art Club, but I fixed it for myself. So I ended up not putting anything else in the background. The blue fairy dust drill is beautiful. I just think that there could have been a little bit more sparkle, but I decided to just leave it as is. And what I did is I added some crystals into the whiskers, and then I also added some stuff to the eyes. So for the whiskers, I used this Icicle AB from Diamond Painting Drills, I believe. I'm gonna shake some of these out for you because they're so beautiful. Like, oh, they're so pretty. Now this, I cannot remember exactly what color was charted here. Let's see, did I leave myself a symbol on the... Yes, okay, so the original whiskers were charted in 415, which is a light gray, and I didn't like that. Now, generally I swap out whiskers with ABs, but I don't love the 415. I do love the 415 AB, but I didn't think it would have the same effect as like a white AB, which I definitely could have done. But then I was just looking through my special drills and I saw these and I was like, these might be perfect. So let me put these away and I will pull the canvas up so that you guys can see what they look like. I love these though. I have two, I have another container of these because they're just so beautiful. Okay, so here is one of the whiskers, or side of the whiskers, I should say. So it's all of these crystals through here, and I just think that these really do translate, if you have a cat or any other animal that would have whiskers, I don't know, a bunny, what else has whiskers? <laughs> um, you will know, and you're probably familiar, even if you don't have those animals, that a whisker is like this kind of transparent, translucent, clear thing <laughs> that comes out of your cat's face. And I thought that the crystals kind of depicted that. It kind of gave it that like sparkly shine. I know that whiskers aren't sparkly, but hopefully you guys know what I mean. And with all of the snow and the blue background, I thought that these just kind of worked because they picked up the background colors and I don't know, I just thought they were kind of cool. I will say that it does annoy me that some of the whiskers are black and I didn't want to replace those with the crystal because you would have seen the black background. So that's why I didn't do all of them. I mean, hindsight is 2020. 20, 20. I probably could have tried it and seen what I liked, but I didn't think that I would like it. So I just skipped it. I just replaced the ones that were charted in 415 and I do think it came out quite cool. And then for the eyes, I added in an AB and I also added in a crystal. So I added in, and this was a, this was a like complete swap. Like I swapped 796 regular drill with 796 AB and I swapped regular drill 995 with 995 crystal. So two really pretty blue colors. And I think it just made the eyes even more striking than they already are because there is the light blue AB that we got with the kit is also in there and there's also a white AB. 
So I think the eyes are quite special. So I do like the changes that I made. Um, let me know. Oh, my sweater. <laughs> okay. Oh, I can't believe that happened again. But you know what? It makes me have to tell you guys about what happened while I was working on this kit. So those are my changes that I made. I really like them. I think that they came out very nicely and it feels good to have done some changes in my first kit of the year because it's definitely something that I need to make sure I'm doing as I go. Now, while I was working on this kit, I had on <laughs> a sweater of this same material. I'm actually going to insert a clip here in a second because I filmed it not exactly knowing what I wanted to do with it but ultimately decided to put it into the post review. So I was wearing this same sweater in a different color because I'm one of those people that when I find something I like, I buy it in every color available. And I had to put my arm on my kit, which sometimes I do with long sleeves. I've never had this problem before. And some of the fabric of my sweater, whatever this might be, came out on my kit and it just happened again. So, <laughs> right here so I'm gonna I'm going to pop in that clip here so you guys can see how I fix that problem I'll have to do it again now because I'm a dummy and forgot <laughs> so here's that clip hello everyone so <laughs> I have a quick little video I don't really know how I'm going to share this with you guys yet if I'm going to do like a separate video or if I'm going to do just like pop this into a video later in the month maybe i'll pop this into the post review i don't quite know but i made a big mistake on my diamond painting and i had a little bit of a panic but i was able to rectify the situation so i thought i would show you guys how i did that so let me just move let me move the drills out of the way so we don't have another fiasco move this up just a little bit okay so I have one of these like I want to call it chenille but I don't know if that's the right fabric but I have on a sweater right and it is this type of fabric and I did not realize I mean like I guess I realized that I had my arm leaning down but I was not expecting for the adhesive to adhere so well <laughs> to my sweater and leave a bunch of the little fabric pieces or like fuzz or lint I guess in between the round drills so it was all across this section and I was able to get it out over here um I see like Maybe right there is a little bit still, but I was able to get everything out of this area. I see a little piece. So I thought I would just quickly show you guys how I did that. I know that we've all, most of us have probably had that panic of where we've like dropped a piece of paper or like the sticker sheet or something on our canvas. So I thought I would show you how I was able to get this off. Now, I keep these equate flushable wipes don't flush these down your toilet though <laughs> they say flushable but don't do it um but I keep these in the house obviously you could use a baby wipe I don't know that you could use like a makeup wipe but like something I hate the, I know a lot of people hate the word moist but something moist um that you can rub around on the canvas and then I also have a toothbrush that is reserved just for diamond painting I often use this if I have a lot of like um wax residue or anything I use this toothbrush so what I did over here and I'm probably going to shake you guys a little bit so I do apologize for that um I had you a little bit zoomed in but what I did is it's going to get worse before it gets better okay so I rubbed this throughout and then kind of just went to town sorry for shaking you guys but I went to town with my toothbrush and I was able Luna it has the zoomies if you guys can hear that and I was able to just kind of brush everything out once it was loosened up with a little bit of moisture um and it really does look much better 
I was panicking. You guys know how much I have been talking about this diamond painting and I was like, oh no, this did not just happen. <laughs> so I have a little bit more here. There goes my train. So I'm just gonna rub this around. And I'm gonna go in with the toothbrush. Sorry for shaking you again. I really need to figure out my filming arm situation. So you guys can see that a lot of it was picked up by the wipe. And then the toothbrush was kind of just able to be that little in between. I also have a little bit over here, which you guys can't see. But while I can see everything, I want to go ahead and clean it off. All right. I should have taken a picture before, but I was panicked. I was like, oh my gosh, what am I going to do? But it looks like we're okay. First thing I'm going to do before I start diamond painting now is change my shirt. Uh, note to self, don't wear these sweaters while I'm diamond painting. So again, I don't know quite where I'm going to fit this in, but let me give you guys a little close up of where we're at. Let me just pull the plastic down. Move the pen. So right towards the top here is where all the orange my drills are a little bit crooked now. I'll have to go back and finish that. Um, looks like I have a little bit more cleanup that I can do right here, but for the most part, I think we're good to go. So that's just, we're learning together, right? <laughs> so that's what worked for me. If you have ever had something like this happen and you have tried a different method, please share with us in the comments down below. And... I think I decided I'm gonna pop this into the post review. So I will let you guys head back to our regularly scheduled programming. <laughs> so that happened <laughs> and it happened again. Yay me. Ugh. At least I feel like it's really easy to panic when that first happens, but if you know how to handle it and know how to correct it, um, it's a little bit easier to to deal with. So hopefully that will help some of you if that ever happens to you. Like I said, I am going to have to go ahead and do that again. And I don't know why I keep wearing this sweater when I'm close to my diamond paintings. I need to stop doing that. Okay, so those are my thoughts on the canvas, on the finish. I really do love everything. I think it's a beautiful kit. I am curious to know what you guys think about the whiskers though, so let me know in the comments. Before I let you all go, I do want to share my accessories with you. So my tray is from Muni Made. This is one of their old styles. I have not picked up anything from Muni Made in quite a while. Um, something I would like to do in 2024. They have remodeled their trays a bit. So this is an old one, but it's a really beautiful icy blue color. My tray. Oh, I used an eight placer, not a six placer, like I mentioned before. This is a pen, not a tray. My pen is from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop and it is one of the like clear with the suspended glitter in it. And they are little snowflakes. Kind of hard to photograph, but really pretty nonetheless. My cover minder is from Country Craft Closet. It's just a really pretty blue heart with some snowflakes. And for my putty, I used the blue cotton candy from NYX's Notions. And this did make my best of 2023 list. I completed this entire painting filling my multi-placer once with this. So if there's definitely a learning curve, which I talked about in that video. Oh, it smells so good. There's definitely a learning curve when you try out this putty for the first time, but I highly recommend sticking with it and trying it out because it's really, really great. I feel like I've done even larger paintings than this one where I have filled my multi-placer once and it's lasted me the whole um the whole project so I highly recommend checking that out and then like I mentioned my crystals this crystal is from diamond painting drills uh these ab's are from dp with sparklers and these crystals are actually from an amazon set I believe I think we 
organize these together in my new special drill storage. So I had a little like assortment pack from Amazon. You can tell there's only, I mean, there's more than a few, but there's a smaller amount in this than you would get say from like DP with sparklers. I will try to find this set and link it down below for you guys. So a couple of different special drills from some different shops, my accessories. Oh, and I forgot to tell you all, I used the Elizabeth Ward funnel from Zodiac Shadows. I did do an unboxing. No, I did a small shop spotlight on this shop and I really did enjoy using this. I will say though, since this was a tray that has a really nice funnel, like a nice spout, I didn't feel like I needed to use this as often. Um, but I was trying to like get myself into the habit because I think this is so great. Um, somebody had mentioned that they thought maybe I could slide this on to the container. I did not find that to be the case. Um, personally, I think that it it's better to snap it on because I don't know, things just didn't line up for me properly when I tried to slide it versus like pop it on like that. So I wanted to mention that I will link this shop down below as well. And apparently I've been, <laughs> I've been looking for this lip balm, but I don't know why I had it in there. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today's post review. I hope you all enjoyed the first post review Friday of the year. I'll stop saying first of now that we've, <laughs> we've made it a full week and then some into the year. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this comment on this comment. No. Let me know your thoughts on this kit in the comments down below. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will be back with you all next week for some fun, some fun videos that I have planned. So I hope I will see you all then and I hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you Monday, maybe. Or will it be Sunday? I don't know. Stay tuned. <laughs> I'll see you guys then. Bye.